This video is going to be a quick overview on all the changes in the new V64 official update. It is out of the beta, and these are going to be all the changes that happened. Some of this info might be a bit repetitive because you watched my update on the beta, so I'm going to be a bit more brief and just give you the major details here. The biggest part of this update was the belt bag. When you pick up the belt bag and you hit Q on any equipment, it inserts it into the belt bag not adding any extra weight to the 16 pounds that the belt bag is. You can even put other belt bags inside the belt bag for pretty much unlimited storage, but each belt bag only holds 15 slots. You cannot put shotguns or knives, but you can put shells and keys into the belt bag for equipment. And of course, you cannot put scrap in here. Meteor showers are a random event that can happen when you're on a moon. It has a 0.7% chance of happening. Getting hit by a meteor, as you would think, kills you, and so I don't recommend it. You can no longer stand on top of old birds. This was patched just after Zeekers added it to the game. Your y-axis viewing was increased to 80 degrees, allowing you to look up and down further. Haunted doors and mansion became less common. Single item days were reduced again to a 5.2% chance. There is also less chance to get two-handed or rare items for a single day scrap. Flasks, plastic cups, clock, and toy trains are no longer conductive. You can no longer do fence jumps on artifice. Now you just slide down fences when you try and jump up on them. However, for this fence jump, if you jump in the right way, you can actually get on top of the fence. You can also no longer climb the dam on Vow. If you knew about this, it's pretty cool, but you can no longer do it. Dine's outdoor power used to be 10, but got decreased back to 7. Carrying the man-eater in baby form is now 21 pounds. It is now a bit harder to trap the man-eater in cheese spots, as when it turns to its adult form, it will teleport to the closest surface. Vow, Rend, and Titan had interior changes. Here are those percentages. Also, a bug with soccer ball blocking line of sight to entities was fixed. TZP now costs 80 credits instead of 120. Web bug was supposedly fixed. A bug with March was fixed that spawned extra scrap after getting a mineshaft interior on a previous moon. For those who don't know, this wasn't covered much, but in the V62 update, giants now path to the furthest node away from ship after chasing a player into ship. Old birds can no longer die to Earth Leviathans. What I heard was that I was too good at this, so Zeekers had to patch it. You can now only trap entities such as Jester and Butler Bees on the left railing. Uh, I've heard that it is still possible to trap coils, but it takes a super long time and is extremely difficult and not worth your energy. Instead, a good way to deal with coils is just by looking down now. Coils cannot get you at all while you're looking down. Even if you're not facing them, they just run up behind you and stand still, so you can pretty much just run with them if you really want to, looking down. I told you I'd keep it short. That's it. Subscribe.